thank you for everyone for being here to be a part of this uh, of this evening. We thank the boys first. Because of you, we, we are here. Thank you very much. That's what I'm always proud of the part of Frankie because of the boys. So, and the parents also make the parents very proud. So we are very happy this evening. Again, we clap the head for everybody and all the parents here. The part of the You know, now all our customers, when we make something happen, we always praise the, the Lord. It's Him, the Almighty. It's Him make all the things we make. And if you are strong, we are right with the God of the Almighty. There's somebody above the, above everybody. So, on that, you call me to name, to come, I'll open prayer to praise the Almighty. Faithfulness requires integrity and God tests your integrity through the little things. The second thing that I've read, read um, recently is that it's the little things in life that matters most. Appreciate what you have and be grateful. In Luke 16 verse 10, um, Jesus says, Whoever is faithful in small matters will be faithful in large ones. As a team, we have to endure so many things this year. Um, but at least we have the chance to compete. However small it was, and however little the season, the season was. Um, thus, we are grateful for the opportunity we have. At least we have the opportunity to play. That's why I'm referring to being grateful for the little things the whole time. Um, God teaches us through His Word that He will always provide for us. And we thank Him for the blessings He bestowed upon us during the season of 2021. He kept us safe during the pandemic. Um, he kept us mostly injury-free. Um, throughout the four games we had and uh, for teaching us to have faith in Him and to be thankful for the little things in life. Also another thing I think that all of us have taught this year is, is how to deal with disappointment, especially after we were all amped and set up and ready to go in our first match, just for that match to be cancelled a few hours before, before we go. Um, we as coaching staff and the team are grateful for the time we had, however small it was. Um, we got to see the boys grow throughout the season, and myself and Mr. Van Der Vinter couldn't be more proud of the be coaches of these boys sitting in front of us. Um, ladies and gentlemen, let us close our eyes for a short break. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so very much for this evening. Thank you for the rugby season we had. I want to ask your blessing over each and every boy and his family here tonight. Thank you for teaching us to be thankful for the little things in life. Teaching us patience and endurance during this challenging year. Bless the food we are about to enjoy this evening and make us ever mindful of those in need. I ask this in your mighty name. Amen. Thank you very much, Mr. Now, we have to move forward to our program. They all say, in the village, there is a, a chief. And then the woman will say, okay, this one is him who set on, on top of our, 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 our rules, the directors. So we'll call Mr. Papa to give us his speech. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wanneer mensen voorraad geeft om sport te doen, zoals wat jullie, if you have the privilege to play rugby, there are certain beacons and moments in life that you will remember forever. And one of those is what you are about to go in, or about to go in to experience tonight. Dit wat jullie vanavond hier gaan krijgen, gaan jullie voor altijd onthouden. So, geniet het. 
and need the alpha women, slurp the top, cherish it, and take this forward. I go down here for hours. Hours what belaying and the kinders. That's what the underways for us in with the dad mom. To be at a function like this, to see parents that love their children, support them. That's what makes education and being a teacher worthwhile. Thank you so much. I applaud you and I salute you for doing what you are doing here. I greet you from your mother and all the film. I have a great chance. I have a great word of Kakuma as we talk about Fleets. We watch the movie The Poet Society. The Poet Society is one of those movies that inspired me to become a teacher. And Robin Williams plays the lead in this movie. He's in a class teaching English as a subject. And at one stage, he calls the boys out, the boys' school. Calls them out and says, let's go to the foyer. Let's go to the entrance of the school. And he takes all the boys to the photographs of one of the sports teams. And he, see, he asks the boys, boys standing in front looking at these pictures, he says to them, he asks them, what do you see? And they look around, stupid question, see people on a photograph. And he, he asks them, what do all of them have in common? What do all of those people on those photographs have in common? And one of the wise or one of the guys, as you guys do, has a cheer from the side. And you know, the luck sweet, isn't it? And he comes up with the answer and says, All of them are dead. They are daffodil food. That's the concept he used in this movie. They are dead. They are daffodil food. And then he starts, he walks between them, and very soft, he utters the word, utters the words, cut by the hair. By his sides, cut by the hair. Cut by the hair. Now, what is that harder to say? And if you translate the Latin phrase, cut by the hair, it means seize the day. In Afrikaans is not so hard to say, grijp die dag. COVID taught me one thing. Let's make it two things. Number one, we have to seize each and every opportunity we have. And number two, be in the moment and use and enjoy that opportunity. Because if you don't know when that will come, you will have a second opportunity to do what you do. Mannen, nou praat ek met jylle. Jylle is dier die jaar, en meneer het nou gesê van die leerstel. Ek sal nooit die dag vergeet so lang, as wat ek school hou, and have the privilege to be a teacher. The day that your first game was cancelled. To see the disappointment in your eyes and on your faces. And in the faces of the coaches, they were even worse. Right. In your song, Bow, we want to pray that for your yesterday, so that we want to see what you see. Once we eat, we'll get a look at the impact on him. But the one thing, the one thing that I will remember of the first team of 2021 is that you guys never gave up, that you play, you wanted to play. Irrespective of the results. And the last game, everything came together. And I want to congratulate you guys. After, yes. <laughs> when we talked after each game, every game, I always said this it was not because of a lack of effort. And that is very important. As you go on, on your way, some of the great sevens is going to high schools, great sixes, hopefully we will have another year of, uh, of rugby pre-COVID. Seize every opportunity. Enjoy every bit 
of playing rugby and always do your best. Seize the day. Ek het vanavond hier in gestap en ek het hier gekyk na die manne wat hier oefen en ek het by myself gedink ja, ek sal een battle gee om net nog een keer net nog een keer en dis net nog een keer wat maak dat ek nie weer kon rakwees keer maar dis dit en ek sal dit alles weer net so oordoen enjoy every moment seize every opportunity and praise the Lord through the talents that He gave to you. Thank you for what you've done for our school. Ons is trots op die algeen van jou. Baie dank jy. Thank you very much. We are going ahead of our program this evening. As you know that we will sit here the big opportunity for all of us again to meet at this center. We know where we're coming from. So, to give you the thing that is gathered together like this, so now we need less time for mingling and chatting. And the prize of the mission is all much as a little bit to you. And then we go to greet each other. So, let's try to take this moment also to, to mix with each other, to, to associate with each other also to, yeah, here you hear me. <laughs> yeah, because it's a big opportunity for us, it's a big opportunity for us to, to meet like this because we're doing level, level full of the things that today we are, we are very difficult. So, for me, I will just make a comment. Yeah. So let us take this opportunity to chat to each other before you can go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, I was out of the we had the energy now we can speak with everybody in the same Now we're going to call your 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 and you can be the first. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Baie dankie, en as het tyd wat die skoolhoof moet loop, so dat die rest van die mense die aand kan lekker geneem. My tyd is daar, my tyd is daar, so baie, baie dankie hiervoor.
obviously that had to be a great six learner. And that one that was voted got the most votes, John Dayant. Oh, 
make you a party. So like past it and empty members like also, you can prepare yourself on a speaker so you are welcome to speak. I feel that no inspiration will want to fork in a good spot, right? The hardest part in life of someone is saying goodbye. The time has come for us to say goodbye to each other. I wish all the best to your future. Boys, this was a great playing with you this year. Although it was just three games, at least it was better than nothing. We had a great team and the best coaches. We love you all of you for your high school career. I'm sure we will meet again on the field. Once I rocky, always a rocky. Rocky is yes, rocky is yes, because the Christian is not wrong.